Difference between Arabic and Farsi When it comes to the Arabic and Farsi languages, there exists an array of similarities and differences between the two. Both are ancient languages with rich cultures and histories, but they differ in terms of script, grammar, and pronunciation. In this video, we will delve into the differences between Arabic and Farsi dot script. One of the primary differences between Arabic and Farsi is the script. Arabic uses a script that is written from right to left, while Farsi uses the same script but is written from left to right. Arabic script has 28 letters and is written in a cursive style, meaning that the letters are connected to each other. Farsi script, on the other hand, has 32 letters and is written in a more linear style, with some letters being connected and others standing alone. Arabic and Farsi have different grammatical structures. Arabic has a system of roots, which are sets of three or four consonants that form the basis of a word. These roots can be combined with different vowels and prefixes suffixes to create various words with different meanings. Farsi, on the other hand, has a more complex system of prefixes and suffixes that modify the meaning of the word. While Arabic and Farsi share some sounds, there are also some sounds that are unique to each language. Arabic has a glottal stop, represented by the letter Hamza, which is not present in Farsi. Farsi, on the other hand, has a sound represented by the letter ZH, which does not exist in Arabic. Arabic and Farsi have a significant amount of shared vocabulary due to the historical and cultural interactions between Arab and Persian cultures. However, there are also many words that are unique to each language. Arabic has a larger vocabulary when it comes to religious and scientific terminology, while Farsi has a larger vocabulary when it comes to literature and poetry. In conclusion, while Arabic and Farsi share many similarities, they also have significant differences in terms of their script, grammar, pronunciation, and vocabulary. Understanding these differences can help individuals better appreciate the beauty and complexity of these ancient languages. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.